I'm making the best superhero mod in Minecraft and I need your help. Have you ever been frustrated about the lack of customizability in superhero mods, forcing you to wear a specific suit for the powers? In this mod, the powers are acquired in unique ways, and there are over 469 billion super suit combinations to design and customize. Along with that, we have an avid community of add-on creators helping expand this idea to infinity. Stay tuned to become part of the greatest superhero community in Minecraft history. Hello guys, Shaden here, and version 3 of Superhero Plus has officially arrived. It can be downloaded in the description below, and today we're going to be going over one of the most hyped up features in this new version. We have the brand new skill tree. We can use the skill tree book to track which powers we've unlocked, but we can also use it to see which powers have upgraded versions of themselves. Today we're going to be going over every power that now has an upgraded version of itself in Superhero Plus. And uh, yeah, let's just scroll through and show you. We have 30 powers in this mod now. Uh, that is absolutely insane. The skill tree book is crafted with one book and one tech plate. The tech plate is crafted by blasting gold titanium alloy, and gold titanium alloy is crafted with one lava bucket, three titanium ingots, and three gold ingots. Once you have the skill tree book, it will show a green light for every power you have unlocked. I did the slash all powers command uh, to give myself all the powers, and now we're going to go through every upgraded power in order of how it appears in this book. And the first one we're going to go over is Adamantium Claws. In order to obtain Adamantium Claws, you have to find Adamantium Ingots on a Celestial Hand in the middle of the ocean. Then to get the Molten Adamantium Bucket, you have to put 8 Adamantium Ingots around a bucket of lava. Then all you have to do is activate Bone Claws and swim in the Adamantium. Once you have Adamantium Claws, Adamantium Claws will automatically turn on anytime you turn on the Bone Claws power, and the Adamantium Claws do 12 damage as opposed to the Bone Claws' 8. The dash attack now also does extra damage, and those are the two new improvements for the Bone Claws power. Let's take a look at the skill tree again. The next upgraded power we have is Super Strength 2. There is a low chance to unlock Super Strength 2 by punching mobs with your fist while having Super Strength active. Once you have Super Strength 2, there are two main benefits. First, the Ground Pound ability now does instant damage when you use it. Originally, it would only deal damage when they fall back down, but now it deals instant damage once you hit the ground to any mobs nearby. The second upgrade is simply that you now have Strength 4 instead of Strength 3. And the last upgrade is that certain blocks that aren't too hard, so any block that is the hardness of Deep Slate and uh, Softer, uh, now breaks instantly when you punch it. So you can pretty much instamine anything. Uh, with your fist, uh, which is super OP, so you're definitely going to want super strength uh, on your player. The next upgraded power is Super Speed 2 and Super Speed 3, which is called Speed Force. Both of the new Super Speed upgrades are obtained just by running for a prolonged period of time. On average, unlocking Speed 2 requires you to run for 45 seconds, and acquiring Speed Force requires you to run for 75 seconds. The main benefit of both speed upgrades is that you now accelerate faster, but if you hold a pickaxe, you can also use it to run through blocks. Let's try it. Just like so. Then, once you've unlocked super speed level 3, you will be able to access the speed force when you break the sound barrier. Oh, we did it for a second. There we go. And speed force. Once you're in the speed force, you can basically just run here forever, and if you break the sound barrier again, you will have the ability to teleport anywhere in the overworld. The next upgraded ability to go over in this video is Pyrokinesis 2. Pyrokinesis 2 is obtained at a 1 in 300 chance by shooting blazes while submerged in lava with your own fireballs. Once you have Pyrokinesis 2, when you get close to mobs, they will automatically be set on fire, and they have a chance to blow up. That was super lucky. Let's try it again with this pig. Dear lord, it's happening quick. But the longer you stay close to that mob and set them on fire, the more likely they are to blow up in a fiery explosion. So, uh, Pyrokinesis 2 is pretty OP. The final upgraded power we'll be taking a look at is Chronokinesis 2, and this is probably the hardest one to obtain. 
First, you have to obtain any random assortment of fruits. It could be a banana, it could be a pineapple, it could be a kiwi, it could be an orange, or it could be a bunch of the vanilla fruits, apples, uh, I think it can be sweet berries, glow berries. But when you have chronokinesis active, and you hold one of these things with a bottle in your offhand, it'll turn into aged radioactive waste. Once you've made aged radioactive waste, you will then need to make a radioactive tachyon bottle with one tachyon bottle, four aged radioactive waste, and four enchanted golden apples. I don't know why my game is lagging so bad. The first upgrade of Chronokinesis 2 is that mobs will now freeze for seven seconds instead of five. The second buff of Chronokinesis 2 is that there is a chance when you freeze a mob that an anvil will drop on their head. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that happened. All right, it is time to duel. I have Vid2 right here, who is the creator of all your favorite powers and probably uh, some lame, lame ones. Yep. Saying, I mean, uh, what, what? Okay, and uh, we're we're going to duel uh, with all the upgraded powers. Are you ready, Vid2? In three, two, one. <laughs> nice try. See ya, see ya, really see gonna ya, run. See ya. I'm out here, I'm out here, I'm out here, I'm out here. What do you think you are? <laughs> I'm mining and crafting, dude. I'm mining and crafting. Leave me alone. Oh gosh. I almost just killed myself. Oh golly. Oh, the way, oh. Actually, Pyro's completely We're useless. We're both immune to fire. We're not immune to explosions, though, so if we get direct hits. Yeah, but the lava stream's kind of useless. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> let me go, let me go, let me go. No, okay, 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 okay. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want All to right, talk about it. Alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. I'm out of here. I'm out you of here. You just got I'm a villager with your attack. Look at this guy. He's not even willing to fight me. I am fighting. He's I'm back. fighting. I'm fighting, dude. I'm fighting. Uh, do I? Do I? Do I? Um, um, I apologize, my statement was incorrect! Come here, dude. Come here. I will watch my language from the here forth. Ah! Oh, oh. Let's go! No! Let's go! You. The, the chrono and uh, claw combo is crazy.